This is a little something I picked up in Paris. The moment I saw it, I knew I had to own it. Excuse me. No, you sure? It looks like it's going to be one of our best parties. I hope so. I say a little prayer for you. Do you, uh, type? You mean, uh, the machine? <laughs> Rubeck is the name. Buy a drink? <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of married. Listen, I got big news for you. Gunther's made me head of the investment department. Phyllis, did you hear me? I heard you, Howard. Well, you don't sound very happy. <laughs> I'm happy, Howard. We'll, we'll just have to find a new house. I can't talk now, Howard. I've got to change. The girls are coming over. I don't live alone, either. You don't live alone, either? You mean you're married, too? Yes. <laughs> Do you dance? Do I? Dance. You two could be very compatible. Mm. Dommage. Are you from Paris? Yes. How wonderful. You should come and meet my husband. He's a displaced Parisian. Hello, my love. I found us some guests. Catherine and Brubaker. How do you do? Catherine is from Paris, and he was college fencing champion. Oh, marvelous! I can tell you what! I would like to live in a castle. All alone? No, with a prince. I was a prince once. <laughs> no, I did in kindergarten in this play. I mean, I played a prince who was uh, turned into a frog by a wicked witch. And, and the only way I could get unfrogged was by the kiss of this beautiful princess. Jeez. You are a prince. night and we're going to Paris. What are you talking about? What about Phyllis? She's not coming. I want you to handle it. That's what I wanted to see you about. Give her anything she wants. The car, the house. A divorce? And... But I'm sorry, but we can't talk here. I'm leaving. We're leaving for where? Paris. Paris. Eight. 